Hello and welcome. Happy St. Urho's Day and happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Yulia Graham and this is Sensiblings.ca. The .ca stands for Canada, which is where more St. Urho's Day celebrations are held than anywhere in the world, including Finland. And the Scent Siblings refers to you, my wonderful scent brother, scent sister, and non-binary scent sibling. I'm so happy to have you here. Today I want to talk about fresh spring scents in honor of the two, well three, let's be real, three occasions that we celebrate from the 16th to the 17th of March here where I live. The first being, of course, my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, baby. The second being St. Urho's Day on the 16th. And the third being St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. So if you are interested in a little bit of history of how these occasions came to be and a little bit of what I think are nice green scents associated for these days, please keep watching. Happy birthday to my husband. I will leave the singing for the professionals and I will not sing that. In today's video, I want to talk to you about my fresh green scents, if you will, in combination with some stories about a couple of spring observances here uh, and in the area. We don't really get spring. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't, uh, I don't really understand the allure of spring, but from a scent perspective, I can tell you that um, spring is the season that one notices because of its smells the most. Uh, where I come from, I don't know, people talk about the blossoms on the trees and the smell of flowers in the garden. Where I come from, we have a lot of snow and when the snow melts, you get a lot of sense of what's underneath and most of it's dog poo, I'm not gonna lie. Spring just smells like dog poo to me. Uh, so it's not my favorite season. I do have a favorite season, but more importantly, I have a favorite song about a favorite season and it is brought uh, to it was brought to me by Servos Fragrance. I will leave a link uh, in the comments below but also a card up here so you can watch his cover of a uh, song called My Favorite Season. It's hilarious. Anyway, it's not spring for me. But spring brings us more light. We we spring forward. I don't, do you guys do this uh, where you are? Leave me a note in the comments below. Our clocks, we set our clocks ahead on the Sunday of a certain time. Anyway, it was last Sunday. So when I showed up to work on Monday, it should have been an hour later or earlier. That's a spatial thing and I have spatial issues. Time and space are very, very related. So anyway, when the clock springs forward, you lose an hour of sleep. That's all I know. March 16th? is my husband's birthday. Happy birthday, baby, I love you. It's also St. Urho's Day in Finland and in Thunder Bay and not very many other places and I'll tell you about that. It's also St. Patrick's Day on the 17th. So this is my video about fresh spring scents as I tell you the stories of St. Urho and St. Patrick but not St. Ryan, because he's not a saint. If you're interested in my freshy spring scents for this time of year, please stay tuned. Well, let's go in order. Happy St. Urho's Day. This is a, uh, it's, it's a made up holiday that I didn't know until I did the research today. St. Urho's Day is uh, supposedly a Finnish observance of a similar um, accounting of what happened in Ireland uh, in the far, far past that a saint had cast out a type of pestilence. Um, but St. Urho's Day, sadly, was uh, made up in 1956 by a fellow who just wanted, as a Finn, 
to have a patron saint and to start drinking before the Irish did on the 17th. And so he made up a story about St. Urho. Urho just in Finnish, uh, I'm told, means brave. And he wrote an, an ode to St. Urho in a very, bro it's really funny. I'm going to give you a snippet of it. It's very cute. That's the Finn uh, accent, which there are more Finns in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada, where I grew up, uh, than anywhere else in the world. That's where the Finnish diaspora, um, I don't think I'm saying that right, diaspora? That's where, that's where they flocked to. So this is the story. St. Urho was made strong by drinking sour wine Milk. and eating something called kalamoika, which is fish soup. And with his loud voice, he cast out all the hoppers in Finland. Now, the, the trouble there is that it's either a frog or a grasshopper. Nobody knows. But in Thunder Bay, they celebrate by slinging a grasshopper on a stick and marching up and down. Bay Street, which is where the diaspora mostly centers. That's the story of St. Urho. That's March 16th. Um, and so the, it was basically created so that the Finns could start drinking a day before the Irish. And the Irish, you all know, St. Patrick from Ireland. He was the patron saint and he went back to Ireland. And I'll stop with this crazy accent because it's not even accurate. He uh, was supposed to have rid... Ireland of snakes, which are not indigenous to Ireland at all. Uh, it was a made-up story because he went in and he just kind of cleared the place of not snakes, but druids who were the quote-unquote priests of the quote-unquote pagan folks who were in Ireland at the time. And they changed it to snakes instead of druids. And to celebrate such a wonderful Feet by St. Patrick, the Lenten restrictions were removed, and so one could drink alcohol, and that's where this whole big party started, and the shenanigans ensued. We all wear green to symbolize the shamrock. This is the only green I own. Here it is on my eyes, and there it is. So, there's St. Patrick's Day, there's St. Urho's Day, St. Ryan's Day doesn't exist, and I'm just going to share with you really quickly my, uh, my freshy scents for St. Urho and St. Patrick. The first one is the oldest one. Um, I'm going to go in chronological orders to when I got them. And this is Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral for her. And it's what I'm wearing today. And it's it's quite lovely. It's quite... I, I forgot about this for a long time because I started getting into perfume. But before I was into perfume, this was my signature work scent. And it's so appropriate. It's so good. It's so good. All of the fragrances that I love are almost exactly the same. There's a fruity top, a floral mid, and a woody base. And this isn't any exception. You've got your oranges, some passion fruit, bergamot, peach, lemon in the top. In the mid, you have flowers like lily of the valley and lotus. I'm looking at my notes. That's why my eyes are crazy. There's jasmine in here and there's oceanic notes. I love that. I love that fresh air feeling. And then in the base, you have all of the things that I think I don't like, but I do. I love um, woody notes at the base, and this one has woody notes and driftwood, which is dry, and you get that in here. Mm, it's really nice. Musk, caramel, and amber as well. This has excellent everything. It's got great performance. Like, it lasts forever, and I always get compliments on it, and I'm actually really glad that I rediscovered it today for this video because it's lovely. My husband's wearing his Burberry today for his birthday, so I thought I would wear mine. That is Burberry Brit Rhythm Floral for her. And that's the first one. The second freshie I want to talk about is on everybody's list. This is the Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche. And again, the notes are almost exactly the same, but they come together differently. This is the hair mist that I have. You can tell because it has a frosty bottle. I love to mist this in my hair. The top has lemon and citron, and I don't know what the difference is. If you do, leave me one below. Leave me what the difference is. And cedar. I think cedar is one of my absolute favorite notes in female perfumery and in male perfumery. I think it's so 
fresh. The middle notes here are water, hyacinth, and pink pepper and jasmine. And I think pink pepper is my second one. I love that it's a sensation. It tickles the nose. And then the same as uh, base notes here, we've got patchouli, which I love. White musk, again, vetiver, teak, iris, and amber. So that is Chanel Chance Eau Fraiche, and I use it in my hair, and I love it. The next one is Layered Signature, uh, and if you guys know, do you know Be Layered is, uh, they're, they're kind of a company that makes dupes, but they also make their own. This is their own, and this one to me is not my favorite, but it is, it's quite fresh, and it has everything that I like in it. I haven't purchased a full bottle. This is one of their decants. So in the top you have the fruits, the orange and the peach. Um, I'm looking my light. I forgot my tripod so I'm all over the place. So this one has orange, peach. It's got a little bit of jasmine, a little bit of freesia, some rose, and then those base notes of amber and musk and, bed of, and, and cedar, which I love. This one I don't necessarily wear on my body. I can't speak to its projection. I wear this somewhere else. And so springtime perfume is pretty important to me. This is a new one that I purchased because I heard it had watermelon in it. But as I look in my notes here, there doesn't seem to be, sorry, when I said watermelon, I meant rhubarb. But I don't see rhubarb in these notes. Uh, this is Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. Trois? Three? This one has top of fruit, the strawberries and the watermelon. I think the rhubarb is in the top here. And then there's pink peony, pink peony, which I also love. I think I love pink peony, cyclamen mask rose, and here we have magnolia. Not the biggest fan, but I love that it's grounded with the musk and the woody notes, sandalwood. And in this one, it says a little bit of smoke. It's kind of there. It's fruity, it's fresh, it's perfect for spring if you don't want to be smelling what's out there. My last one, so that this video isn't a million years long, is my newest one. And I bought it for Minty March. And uh, people love this scent. And it is a ride or die for some people. And the jury's out for me on Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. I want to love this. It's got a mint opening rose carnation and cannabis in the mid and then the vetiver and the amber in the um, base and I just get powder I mean look at this packaging how could you not right I'm going to keep it but I went out I blind bought it and I want to love it and I'm trying to love it I'm going to love it I'm going to appreciate it to me and to my husband really it just smells like powder and so there it is uh, I can just uh it smells fantastic in the bottle. Did I mention that? But the powder does come out. It smells fantastic in the bottle, but then when I put it on my skin, it just dries down to something that's not a lot better than the smell outside, but it's not, it's not worse, so that's good. So this is the second time I've filmed this. I'm just sure that the first time it was much, much better, but here it is, and uh, these are my spring scents from my collection and so I would like to wish my husband a happy birthday. I would like to wish you a happy St. Urho's Day and a happy St. Patrick's Day. Please be safe. Enjoy yourself but do the social distancing thing. Keep yourself and your loved ones safe if not for your sake for theirs. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm Yulia Graham. This is sensiblings.ca, and we'll see you in the next one.